The Campagnolo Ekar 13-speed drop bar shifter is one of their gravel bike shifters. In this video, I'm going to measure the cable pull of this shifter, and then I'll show you how you could potentially combine this shifter with an Altegra RX derailleur and an 11-speed cassette. To measure the shifts, I took 240 measurements across 24 runs. On 12 runs, I pulled cable, simulating shifting to easier gears, and on 12 runs, I relaxed cable, simulating shifting to harder gears. My indicator doesn't have enough range for all shifts, so I reposition the indicator halfway through. Here we can see the amount of cable pulled between each pair of cogs. The large amount of cable pull for the first and last shifts allows the cable to go fully slack when resting on the high limit screw and pulls the derailleur firmly against the low limit screw. Derailleurs typically move slower towards the ends of their range of motion and faster towards the middle. However, this shifter does not attempt to compensate for that. Instead, the middle shifts are all close to the average. We can also calculate the average cable pull. I averaged together the middle shifts, ignoring the first and last shifts. The end result is an average cable pull of 2.42 millimeters. On average, each of the middle shifts will pull about 2.42 millimeters of cable. I can't think of a reason why you'd want to use an Eckhart shifter with any other derailleur or cassette. However, if you happen to have an Eckhart 13 speed shifter, an Altegra RX800 11 speed derailleur, and a Shimano 11 speed cassette in your parts bin, I think you could have some fun getting these parts working together. As a basic sanity check, we can see that the average cable pull for the Eckhart shifter of 2.42 millimeters is very close to the 2.5 millimeters of the Altegra 11 speed shifter. This means that the Eckhart shifter pulls just about the same amount of cable per shift as the Ultegra shifter. Shimano says that the Ultegra 11-speed shifter is compatible with the Ultegra RX800 derailleur with an 11-speed cassette, so it stands to reason that this could work. We can do some more analysis. Let's compare the average shift to the cog spacing. Looking at this diagram, the jockey wheel is represented by the cogs on the left, and the cassette cogs are on the right. This diagram allows us to easily compare each shift with how far apart the cogs are. We can see that the average shift is pretty close to the cog pitch. On the right, we can also see that the cog pitch is within the acceptable range for the average shift. We can also look at the worst case misalignment. In this diagram, you see a cog on the left and the jockey wheel on the right. The angle in the center is the angle the chain would need to take to get from the jockey to the cog. The number on the right is how misaligned the jockey is in relation to the cog. We can see that the jockey, chain, and cog would be nearly perfectly aligned for every shift. These observations lead me to believe that you could put a Campagnolo Eckhart 13 speed shifter, an Ultegra RX800 11 speed derailleur, and a Shimano or SRAM 11 speed cassette on a bike and it would shift acceptably. Of course, you would have to use the limit screws to block out two shifts. Even so, I'm curious to see if this would work in real life. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference, and I encourage you to find the info page link in the description to see more information about this shifter.